desires. قال صلى الله عليه وسلم من استطاع الباءة من استطاع الباءة and من استطاع الباءة here it is the تخريج of إمام البخاري but you got another one that say من استطاع منكم الباءة طيب but here من استطاع الباءة this is for the تخريج of إمام البخاري the Prophet Ali Salatu Salam he say whomsoever has the means. Whoever has the means. Here, Al Ba'a having the means here in regard to marriage, it falls into two into two things. The ability of getting married or marriage. He say, Man istata'a al ba'a. Whoever has the means of, yani, fal yatazawwaj, let him get married. So here, as the ulama mentioned, that here, al ba'a, it is of two things. As I say, number one is having the means to maintain a wife. Because al rijaluna qawamuna ala nisa'i bima faddalallahu wa bima anfaqu. Shuf, wa bima anfaqu. So therefore, having the means to take care of one's spouse. The second one is what? Huh? Yes, that you have to be physically fit. You have to be yani, having the means of physically barakallah fikum, yani, maintaining a wife. So, yep. so فَإِنَّهُ أَغَدُّ لِلْبَصَرِ Because having a wife or getting married is easy to lower your gaze right it is easy to lower your gaze wa ahsan lil farj and it is more of keeping one chastity chastity it is more of helping one to keep his chastity wa man lam yastati in whomsoever has not the means fa alayhi bis sawm let him fast فَإِنَّهُ لَهُ وِجَا Because indeed it is a protection. Right? It is a protection. Like those shields that they have at the time of fighting and the likes of this. So, fasting also, alhamdulillah, for one that cannot, that doesn't have the means to get married and, you know, feeling the urge of having, alhamdulillah, a desire for a woman and the likes of this. Then he is, alhamdulillah, to be to be fasting, to uh, I would say downsize or reduce his any his urge of his desires to fulfill them. We also read in regard to Psalm يوم ثلاثين من الشعبان إذا لم يرى الهلال مع ايش الصحو مع الصحو fasting طيب fasting in regard to the 30th day طيب of شعبان if one does not see the hilal if one does not see the hilal while it is clear fasting that day what about that قال ابن منذر في الإشراف صوم يوم ثلاثين من شعبان إذا لم يرى الهلال مع الصحو لا يجب بإجماع الأئمة Fasting the thirtieth day of شعبان When there is no siding While the, moon, the, 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 the sky is clear Clear forecast he say, لا يجب, it is not befitting, it is not permissible. بإجماع الأئمة, based on the consensus of the أئمة. And for that we say that fasting the Ramadan comes in one of these three. One of these three. Number one, that the person seated. Number two, somebody upright. Yukhbiruka and number three 
إكمال عدة ثلاثين من شعبان. Complete thirty days of شعبان. These are the ways that fasting is to be established. Excuse my leg. Amen. Excuse my. طيب. That we dealt with that. بارك الله فيكم. So ابن منذر في إشراف ابن عم. He say fasting the thirty days of the thirtieth day of Shaaban. If the moon was not sighted, while the sky was clear, that is not permissible. Meaning, let's say today is the thirtieth day of Shaaban. No one sighted the moon. And the sun, I mean, the heaven, the sky is clear, no, no clouds. That is not permissible to fast that day, because we must complete what, either thirty days of Sha <coughs> of Shaaban, or that we see the sumu li ru'yatihi with study the hadith, or be shahadati rajulun wahid adil, or a statement of a one person that is what upright. As the hadith of, as the hadith of, Abdullah ibn Umar, Ahsant, Abdullah ibn Umar, the hadith of Abdullah ibn Umar, when he said that the people have sighted the moon, and I have sighted it, and I said it to the, I mentioned it to the Prophet alayhi salatu was salam, was fasama wa amar al-nas bis siyam. He fasted, and he commanded the people to fast. The other issue that barak Allah fikum, what we dealt with was man akala, ظَانًا أَنَّ الْفَجْرَ لَمْ يَطْلِعَ Whomsoever ate, whomsoever, نعم, whomsoever ate, while thinking that the true fajr has not set yet. Whomsoever ate, while thinking that the true fajr is not set yet. طيب. He mentioned من أكل whomsoever eat, ظانًا while thinking or assuming that the fajr did not يعني come did not you know reach its true fajr yet he say لم يفسد صومه عند الجمهور that his fasting his fasting is not invalid and this is based on the consensus The other issue that Barak Allah Fikum that we dealt with is Barak Allah Fikum in regard to the a person that he fasted and he have a wet dream during the day of Ramadan. We say that his fasting is is valid. Now the question that Ibn Hajar mentioned was هل النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم يحتلم؟ Does the Prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام have wet dreams? طيب. And والحمد لله these are matters that if anybody would have asked me, my father, does your father have a wet dream? What would be my my what would be what you think would be my approach to you? Huh? I would be a very upset. Right, Hassan? Somebody tell me, hey Abu Khadija, does your father have wet dream? I'll be very upset. I say, man, this is very disrespectful. But subhanAllah, look at these issues that Barakallah fikum by way of the Prophet Ali Salatu Salam, we're learning these things. And with all of that though. The level of respect and love that we have for the Prophet ﷺ is not comparable to anybody. Right? If anybody would have told the person, hey, have your father ever had a wet dream? You would, you would be upset. But these are issues that Barakallah Fikum, Alhamdulillah, we, when we learn it, nobody is having no type of disrespect or seeing it as this individual is belittling the Prophet Ali Salatu Wasalam. Bal, bal, bal. But rather, this issue, Barakallah Fiku, it shows the superiority of the Prophet Ali Salatu Wasalam over us. 
Right? And as we mentioned this last week, yesterday, was it yesterday? قال القرطبي إمام القرطبي رحمه الله he mentioned that كان النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم لا يحتلم that the Prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام he used not to have wet dream and he has a strong proof he say إذن أو إذ Al-ihtilam, because of the fact that wet dream means shaitan, it is from the shaitan. Because wet dream is from the shaitan. And he, the Prophet, ma'asumun minhu. He is, he is well protected against the shaitan. He is well protected against the shaitan. The shaitan cannot do nothing in regard to the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam. Right? We talked about, Barakallahu feekum, hukmu man asbaha junuban, the one, the ruling of someone that he woke up bimana after fajr in the state of Janaba. He woke up in after fajr in the state of Janaba. <coughs> So here, <clears throat> the wet dream and the janaba, this, this two different things. Even though uh, it could have similarity, which is the release of sperm, but there is two different things. Because the when you say asbaha junuban, meaning the person had intercourse with his with his with his with his spouse, or with her with her spouse. So getting up in the morning after fajr, and he or she realize that they were in the state of uh, Janaba. What is Barakallah Fikum the issue? And he mentioned Barakallah Fikum. He said, Wastaqarra al ijama ala khilafihi kama jazima bihi an nawa bi rahimahullah. Because at first some of the scholars they used to see as that his fasting was invalid. But the likes of Imam Mannawi, rahimahullah, rahmatan wasi'a, jazima, right? Jazima meaning have this strong resolution that the opposite was the, was what was valid, which is that the person that got up in the morning after Fajr and he is in the state of, of Janaba, his fasting is still valid. His fasting is still valid. And he say, فَقَالَ صَارَ ذَلِكَ إِجْمَاعًا أَوْ كَالْإِجْمَاعًا And he say, this opinion of Imam Mannawi, rahimahullah, it is that which is after that was the, the consensus, or like the consensus. Meaning everybody agreed to it, or almost everybody agrees to that afterward. afterward. That which, alhamdulillah, also we have, we have um, we have talked about was in regard to the masala of a person fasting to be yani uh, to have some intimacy i must say that word biduni jama without intercourse right to have intimacy with his with his spouse without without intercourse that barakallah fikum is an um, uh, issue <coughs> that Ibn Qudamata, rahimahullah, rahmatan wasi'a, he mentioned that if a person, he have intimacy with his wife, meaning kiss on his wife, and he release himself, meaning he ejaculate, he say, aftara bila khilaf. If a person kiss on him on his wife up until he ejaculated after bila khilaf. Kada qala like exactly how he said it. And he said, Wafihi nadar. And in this particular matter, it has barakallah fikum. Yani a level of yani research or disagreement in regard to the scholar.